Hi, welcome back to the medcenter.com. So we continue the part C and part C and part D of this uh, recent exam question. This exam question is taken from the recent January 2020 exam paper of the Pearson Edexel International GCSE. Their further pure maths paper 4 p.m. Uh, 1 taken from the paper 2R variant. Okay. So in the previous video, I've already done part A and part B. Uh, now they ask you, show that alpha squared plus beta squared bracket squared minus 2 bracket alpha beta bracket squared is the same as alpha cube plus beta, sorry, same as alpha to the power of 4 plus beta to the power of 4. Now this one looks a little bit scary, but it is not. You do have to know one thing. You do have to know that in part C, okay, you do have to know this. Alpha squared plus beta squared uh, is actually alpha plus beta squared minus 2 alpha beta. I think this is given in most of your textbooks for this uh, additional maths or any of this at Excel for the pure maths book, all right? So alpha squared plus beta squared is same as alpha plus beta bracket squared minus 2 alpha beta. If you don't believe, you just expand this out. We expand alpha squared plus beta squared plus 2 alpha beta minus 2 alpha beta. So this is really simple. So they're asking you, what is alpha power of 4 plus beta power 4? So you're going to replace the alpha squared alpha with alpha squared plus beta squared squared. Minus 2 alpha squared beta squared. Okay, that's it. So, which you can write, uh, you know, if you hear some story in the background, sorry, it's my dog. I have this fur kid, you know, his name is Tarzan. He's very needy and he's always with me. So, this would be 2 there, would be this. There you are, there you go. So, it's proven. So, alpha to the power of 4. Plus beta to the power of 4 is same as alpha squared plus beta squared square minus 2 bracket alpha beta bracket square and we are done okay that's part C now part D needs a little bit more work part D part D I would like you to practice part D yourself but I will start for you part D they say, um, form a quadratic equation with integer coefficients. Integer coefficients. This integer coefficients, integer means whole numbers, uh, coefficients. Look at the roots. Alpha cube minus beta and alpha, beta cube minus alpha. So, um, So you only have new roots, which are alpha cube minus beta and beta cube minus alpha. So you find the sum of roots, which is alpha cube minus beta plus beta cube minus alpha. And you also find the product of roots, which is alpha cube minus beta Sorry people, the story in the background is from my baby, from my fur kid, a pet dog. He's a huge Rottweiler. His name is Tarzan. Okay, so, so the sum of roots here, when you expand the sum of roots here, you have alpha cube plus beta cube. Minus alpha minus beta is same as bracket. Uh, sorry, it's same as minus. Wait, let me miss my rubber. The same as minus bracket alpha plus beta. Minus beta minus alpha is same as the negative. Put the negative inside, outside. That means up uh, alpha cube plus beta cube minus bracket the original sum of roots, okay? 
So this one you substitute earlier on. Okay, uh, you substitute carefully. Alpha Q plus Beta Q. Uh, you have found that it is 81 over 8. This is from your answer in part uh, B. Answer in part B. Okay, minus your sum of roots is negative 3 over 2. And so it will be 93 over 8. The product of roots here, you have to be really careful. You're going to expand this expression here. You will get alpha cube beta cube plus alpha beta minus beta power 4 minus alpha power 4, which is same as alpha beta bracket cube plus alpha beta minus. Now minus in front, you have alpha 4 power 4 plus beta power 4 or minus bracket alpha 4 plus beta 4 or plus or minus the I just uh interchange it is the same you work it out huh minus beta power 4 minus alpha power 4 and then you substitute in really really carefully people please running a bit of space so 3 cube plus alpha beta which is 3 minus the alpha power 4 plus beta power 4, you are going to use this answer here. Okay, which you are going to substitute will be 2 uh, 3 squared plus negative 15 over 4 squared okay 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 you're gonna work it out your answer will come out to a nice number which is 543 543 over 16 okay so now you know that your sum of roots is 93 over 8 and this is product of roots 543 over 16 you have to substitute take these two and substitute this into the equation which is in this form the quadratic equation can be written in the form in this form as well in the general form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 or in this form x squared minus sum of roots times x plus product of roots equals 0. So your sum of roots from the top part is 93 over 8 power x, don't forget, plus the product of roots 543 over 16 will be 0. Because all these are fractions, 93 over 8, 543 over 16 cannot you must make it all over 16. So this one you divide by 16, 16 times 2, times 2. Then the 16 you can get rid of it because 0 times 16 is 0. Your final answer is 16x squared minus 93 times 2, 186x. Okay, plus 543 equals 0. Sorry, ran out of space. In the real exam, they give you a whole big page of empty page to write. But here, to save video time and space, I condense it. So that's it. Then you're done. The answer is 16x squared minus 186x plus 543 equals 0. So uh, you have to practice this. This is quite complicated. And for this question here, this part D, you know, in this exam, they gave you this part D, 6 marks. That means uh, part A, B, C takes up 6 marks, but part D is an equal 6 marks. So total, 12 marks. Alright? So you can play this video again and watch it and practice again. This is a very important idea. You need to practice. Be careful of your expansion. I'll see you in the next video. Like and share this with your friends. Check us out on our website, www.themedcenter.com. Subscribe to us so that you can get notified every time we have a free or a new course, free video or a new course that we do sell for subscription. Check us out, alright? I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.